Hi everybody, welcome to the shakeup. It's another bias report edition. Uh, I want to go over the simplest way to start using them, but I don't want you to think simple doesn't equal profitable. The first thing we want to do is go to the last two lines of the report. Whoops. That's right there. I just highlighted in yellow for you guys. Um, so these are the last two lines of the report. We are using Parks Dirt routes in this example. Right now, the sample size is at 90. Uh, dirt route races. We can see right away that post one through three is winning 42% of the races. Four through six is winning 33, and seven on out is winning 24% of the races. Running styles, uh, they're wiring at 32% of the races, stalking at 52% of the races, and closing at 15% of the races. I should be thinking inside speed and stalkers are what I should be looking for on most days. Give posts one through three an edge over four through six and try to fade the outside of the track. Uh, speed and stalkers should be the preferred running style. And uh, you should be fading all short price closers uh, they're only winning at 15%, and you shouldn't even be considering a closer probably at 5 to 1 or less. Uh, 6 to 1 is when you start to get to be fair value for a 15% uh, winner. Uh, so I wouldn't consider closers probably at 5 to 1 or less. This is what I would consider the average way park start routes are playing. Uh, so the last days, uh, my notes ended was uh, 826, or no, August 26. So let's use the profile to see how that might be used. Okay, so the next day they ran was August 31st. Uh, the first race, we're only looking at uh, dirt route races today using that profile. So the first race was a sprint. We didn't care about that. The second race was a five, it, uh, it was a dirt route, but there was only five horses in it. Uh, the profile kind of puts you on everything. It came in three, two, one, all inside, but it's a race that I really wouldn't even have recommended playing. Uh, it was a five horse field and the winners were the top two choices, but it was all inside of the track. Uh, but the profile should have, you know, that's what we're looking for inside. Uh, third race was uh, another sprint race. Uh, the fourth race, it's a mating claiming race. It's a bigger field, eight horse field. Uh, we're looking for inside speed and stalkers and we prefer the inside over the four through six and we're trying to fade the outside and we want speed and stalkers. Uh, the two, or, well the three horse in the two hole went wire to wire. He was 33 to one. Uh, so I swear to God I did not go over and look for a lot of examples that this would work, but we are going over the three days samples here. Uh, the six horse, ran, or the eight horse ran second. He was in the six hole. He stopped to get there. So, I mean, that's what we're looking for. Uh, and the horses that were in the one in the three hole, they were eight to one and 88 to one. So, you know, all the inside horses were long. One of them ended up winning. One of them, you know, that's a shot. You know, without handicapping and without having the form, 
and doing it live, you know, doing this all live. You guys see me do it live on the show all the time. Uh, you know, we're just going through the result charts and seeing, you know, is that kind of what you should be looking for? And did it yield something? And that answer was yes. So, so far we looked at two races. Uh, both of the races, although one was unplayable and one should be a, if you hit it, could be a month maker. Uh, the fifth race was another sprint. The sixth race, the sixth race is a claiming race. Uh, and it's gonna be a mile on the dirt. Uh, the seven post one, so we're really not looking for the seven hole. He was the favorite. And he won, so that's not really what we're looking for. He won while closing, that's another thing that we're looking for. I, I said that I wouldn't bet, uh, I wouldn't consider uh, closers at a, I think it was five to one or less. That I'm talking about win bets when I say that, by the way. Uh, but I, okay, so this race, maybe you didn't get the winner, but you know, you don't really play biases looking for short price winners in a way. It's almost, I kind of am looking at who ran second, third, and fourth. Uh, the three ran second at 14 to one. The two ran third at four to one, and the one ran fourth at six to one. So other than the favorite winning, 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 to me the profile still, I mean, fuck looks good. Let's see if there's any more dirt route races today. So the seventh race is going to be another dirt route race on the dirt, it was scheduled for the turf and it was taken off. Uh, the 13 horse won, but he was in the six hole. Remember I said give an edge over post one through three over four through six. So four through six is still in our range. We're looking for uh, speed and stalkers. Uh, the three pretty much came pretty close to wiring. He was a half a length behind at the first call, technically. Technically he didn't wire, but to me that's a wire. Uh, and I'm saying the three, I mean the 13 from the six hole, he uh, was on the radar because he was two to one, he was the second choice, the seven was the favorite. Uh, did the profile work there pretty good? Yes, uh, they wired. We're looking for speed and stalkers towards the inside. The two horse got second at six to one. So again, we got another longer short, another longer price horse on that inside of the track. Getting second, he just lost by a nose. So I'm still thinking the, the bias report, using it the simplest way, is pointing me in a pretty good direction so far. Uh, the eighth race, it's uh, another dirt race. Uh, who won that? The three horse and the two post position and he was at nine to two. Uh, the four got second, he was the big favorite, and the one got third at 17 to one. Uh, the running style that the three used, he came from three lengths behind the lead. The big favorite tried to be a closer. Remember, I said I, I say closer start at five lengths back or farther. He was five lengths on the first call. And the 17 to one horse who was in the one hole tried to wire all the way and just got tired and ran third. Uh, let's see if there's another race. So to me, you had a real shot at a 33 to one shot, possibly a nine to two shot. Uh, there was one race that was not playable, that five horse race that technically it worked. It gave you the try, but it wasn't a try you wanted. Uh, then there was a, a favorite on the outside from, I think it was a seven hole winning with a 14 to one that was on the inside. And then there was a six horse winning who was two to one with an eight to one on the inside uh, being second by a nose. Uh, so far, I would say that's an extremely 
Could have been an extremely profitable day. Uh, let's see if there's another route. A, a chance at an extremely profitable day. If you hit the nine to two, or if you hit that 33 to one, or if you put together the exact, as you know, this is all, using biases is still based on your other handicapping. Uh, I, you know, you wanna use it to focus and narrow down the track to figure out where you, you know, should be looking to start the day. And uh, the 10th race, is this the 10th race? The 10th race of the day, was another seven furlong race, so that's technically not a route to me. Uh, so the first day we looked at the very next race, the very next racing day after I ended my profile, I would say that was extremely useful information on the bias reports to me using it the simplest way. That's the simplest way. I'm gonna go into other videos about getting more advance with it uh, so let's go to the the next day after 8 31 i lost my cursor let's see where are we at so it, that would be september 1st so the very next racing day is september 1st remember we're only looking at dirt route races as we're going through these examples Okay, so the first two races were both. I don't know if I got too much stuff on right now, or this is just a, uh, feels choppy scrolling through this stuff right now. Okay, so we're still at parks. This is September 1st, it's the third race. Uh, remember, we're looking for we're giving an edge to the inside of the track. When we're, when we're between the tough call, we're going to kind of the inside. We're giving them a little bit of an edge, post one through three over four through six. We're trying to fade seven on out. Uh, we're trying to fade closers and we're looking for stalker closers or, or stalkers, speed and stalkers, I'm sorry. We're looking for speed and stalkers. We're fading uh, cl uh, deep closers. Uh, I'm talking about the win position first. Uh, remember, when I'm building these profiles, I'm basing it off of the winning position. The winning, I think everyone would agree the winning position is the, uh, the most important position, I would think. Uh, so this race was won by the five horse. It came in 5-1-3. Uh, so an outside horse did win, but as we dig a little deeper, uh, he was a favorite. He was 80 cents on the dollar. The one was second choice. He was a... Uh, a dollar sixty on a dollar. Uh, the three ran third at seventeen to one. Uh, take it what it was. This is probably not the best race. Uh, let's see. How did the three? The three came from, or the five who won came from one length off the lead, one and a half length off the lead. Uh, overall, this looks like a a race you probably wouldn't be that interested in. Uh, I still think uh, you're pretty much speed and stalkers, post one through three, and we can bet four through six if uh, you really like it, but I don't see anyone getting too excited who uh, thinks like me about uh, that exacta. So let's just see if, uh, as we go on, if there's anything better. So this was another race that was taken off the turf. It's going to be a one, mile one-eighth on the dirt. Uh, I, I, I'm going to stop saying the, num the program number because it's easier just to talk about post position when we're talking about bias. This race came in 1-2, one, 1-2-5. Two. One, two, uh, I don't think it's going to be... The, that great of a race, the one was $1.20 on the dollar. Uh, the two was eight to one. Maybe that exact is worth playing. Uh, but, I mean, you're kind of still getting pointed to the, but that, that exact wasn't bad. That exact paid 36 bucks for $2. Uh, so it wasn't as bad as exact as I actually thought. 
I guess it was because the four also, or not the four, the post position five, the seven horse took a lot of money. He was a dollar sixty, so uh, they kind of had two horses uh, that were really bet down uh, between the one and the five. So right now, I'm still liking the way. And right now, if I was playing these two days, I would be liking the where where the bias report got me right now. I would be saying that, hey, the track is kind of playing how uh, the virus report kind of predicted, kind of playing like overall average. I'm just going to play it and not make very many example, uh, uh, not examples. I'm not going to make very many. Uh, God damn, I can't think of the words. I'm not going to change things. I'm just going to try to play it until something looks different. Okay, the fifth race is a seven furlong race. So we're looking for the route races. Uh, six races, seven furlong race. Okay, so now we got the seventh race. It's gonna be a claiming 6,000 non-winners of two lifetime. Uh, and again, I'm going to go with post position over program numbers. Uh, we're looking, we're giving an edge to the inside. We're looking for speed and stalkers. And we still like post four through six, you know, depending on how our handicapping is. But we're giving an edge definitely to the inside. Uh, this race to three ran away. He went wire to wire at a little over two to one, not the sexiest price. Uh, probably, I guess, uh, the exacto wasn't really on the radar. Well, you know, the, the post position eight did come in second. He was 70 cents on the dollar, right? He was in the eight hole. Uh, it looks like he might have been a closer because he can't, was coming from seven lengths behind. Uh, he was coming from eight lengths behind, so he was a closer. I said fade closers unless they're five to one or high. Well, I said I would fade closers for a win bet if they were five to one or under. Uh, he was 70 cents on the dollar. It says he was wide. He managed to get second. Uh, the nine did pick up third, so uh, it said he was had the rail in the stretch. Uh, but... I don't like two to ones, and two to ones not really my thing. But you know, that's you're using this to try to angle your bets, you know, to get the winning slot. Uh, you know, some people might say, "Hey, I'm willing to jump on that with that profile." Uh, some guys like me might say uh, that might not be good enough and I might not be interested, but I just want to point out the overall profile seems to be putting, the simplest way of using it seems to be putting you in the right direction and getting off of you like this horse that's 70 cents on the dollar that just managed to get second. And this is choppy. Okay, so the next race is another sprint race. That it? Nope. Here's another mile sixteenth race. Now here's the ninth race. Uh, it's another five a uh, five horse field. Uh, you know the bias, like I said, is going towards the inside, right? Give the angle edge to the inside. Five horse fields kind of break the rules. Just getting rid of one more horse brings everyone closer to an inside bias. I'm not trying to sandbag here. Pulse five and four one. Uh, the horse that was the favorite was the four hole was the four horse that was in the three hole. He was eighty cents on a dollar. I'm looking at his uh, uh, odds right there. Uh, I thought this might be a case. 
The four was the the favorite was actually a deep closer, which I said you should be fading closers at a short price. The five ended up being a the post position or the three horse and the five hole. Wait a minute, wait a minute. These are starts, not post position. The three was also a closer. And the nine was also a closer. The nine was the horse in the five hole. Uh, the three was in the two hole. So using the rule that you fade closers at five to one or under, the five horse almost qualifies to where you're getting fair value. Uh, the four horse almost went wire to wire on the inside at a long price. Uh, just following the first rule of I would be fading closers at 80 cents on the dollar, if I was even interested in this race, just knowing that makes you a better handicapper because you stay off of the big favorite at 80, 80 to one, you know, at a, such a short price. Uh, but, you know, this also, you know, like all races, it depends on how you're going to handicap after that. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to use this. I'm not really going to be like this was real helpful, this race, but I don't think the profile was real hurtful. I think some of the rules were good, like keeping you off of that three horse. Uh, you know, the five tried to wire at a big price, got a nice second. I, I don't think it was the worst profile right there. I mean, sometimes I make uh, profiles and they're just dead wrong on a day. I don't think that one is the worst. Uh, you know, it's still what you're, you know, everybody's going to use these numbers and do things a little bit different. Uh, the 10th race was a, a sprint race, so we're not looking at that. Okay, so those are two days of racing. I want to go over one more day. Uh, overall, I thought both days, the Average profile, what you expected to happen, pretty much happened. Uh, and the next day, we want to do the second, 9-2. That's the very next day. Uh, so the first race was a sprint race. The second race, we're going to get a mile 70 race, right? And the seven horse in the, okay, go to post position. The pole, it came in five, six, eight. Uh, the five horse went wire to wire. So that, that gets you on the speed side. He was four to one. He was a decent price. Uh, first thing I noticed, this is the first day, and I think the first race of the day, where I think I noticed that uh, the five won, and I see the outside uh, comment, and I see that it came in five, six, eight. The one got fourth at 62 to one. Uh, Looking down and noticing the two got second, or the two didn't run at all, showed a little bit of speed and just stopped at a big at, at a short price. And the comment said inside in a slot. That was a little bit uh I let I I don't mind the fact that the five won. I like that he won wiring. Uh I'm a little like looking at that uh, two horses and going, ah, oh, he didn't run. So that you could, you, this race you can take either way. Like, hey, we were looking for speed. We're giving an edge to the inside. This, this is what's hard when we're just looking at the results like this. But like I said, it'd be too, it's almost it would be like watching the live show. And seeing how I make these adjustments. Uh, 
So it's kind of hard without us having a program because that would be a huge video if I had to uh, handicap the races too. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I am noticing that the numbers seem to be outside more that finished first, second, and third. And it's not just because they were outside more because we had some other outside horses. Well, you know what? The six was two to one. For some reason, I thought they were longer price horses. I, th I thought, I didn't, I guess I didn't realize that the two, uh, six was two to one. The eight did slip in there at 17 to one. I guess what's really bothered me is that the two took so much action and it could have just been a bad bet by the public. Uh, he kind of showed speed, which might have, that might be if I had the form, I might have thought he uh, looked right. I'm just taking it that, hey, you know, maybe he deserved to be favored. There, there is a possibility that he never even looked good on paper. Like, you know, there might have been other warnings, but... Uh, we're just doing the simplest example of using the bias reports. I want to keep it simple. I'm going to start simple and we're going to go more complicated shit. Uh, so let's see. The third race is just a seven furlong race. Okay, so the fourth race, we have another uh, it's a maiden claiming, and it's going to be a mile and an eighth. It's another race that was taken off the dirt. And holy shit. Fireworks, guys. Okay. All right. You know, I got a tingle. I got a tingle when I kept looking at the last race. Today was the, this was the first day where I got a tingle. Uh, so if we were looking for inside horses, speed and stalkers, it didn't get you to this 51 to one horse and it probably didn't even give you a chance to catch this 51 to one horse considering he won from the eight hole. And let's see what kind of running style that he used. It looked like it was more of a closing running style. He closed. He closed, he came from six lengths out at the quarter, six lengths out at the half, and he was actually nine lengths out at the three quarter. Uh, and he won going away, 51 to one, one going away on the outside. And the bias reports did not help you uh, with just the simplest way of using them. Uh, but I tell you what, my senses are tingling. Uh, the one did get second at a nice number, and it said he came back, uh, came back and he was on the rail. Seven still got third. The first race was outside. I want to go back to the running style report. So right now we got a horse that closed. That's out of the ordinary. Uh, it's only happening 15% of the time. We kind of had two races in a row that both went kind of outside. These bias reports, what we were looking for is the average. It's what you expect more days than not. But it's, racing is not that simple. Biases change, things happen. And when you have two races, or three races that don't look the same. Not, and something spectacular happened like a 51 to one shot winning. 
your senses should be going off. Uh, usually in my experience, when a horse is really long winning, that's not a first time starter. Uh, it's usually hit, super hidden form, meaning uh, you could go back and find some races he ran against the bias. Or the other thing is all of a sudden uh, that makes my uh, senses go is thinking there might be a different bias today. Uh, this did not look like the bias report projected. It did not look like the last two days that we were, you know, going over the result. This is the first race, uh, racing day that started out and looked different. So when I said that, uh, you know, the, that, that bottom line is basically the average. It's what you should start looking for. When you start seeing results like this, and after seeing two days, of inside stuff happening, and one of them was a 33 to one winner going wire to wire. All of a sudden we got a closer and an outside, and then we had another horse wire from the outside. Uh, it might, right now, I would definitely be questioning, could this track change and could we be looking at a little different track? Uh, So let's go to the next race. But, the, but from what I see, unless you were like taking the two horse because he might go wire to wire and you did a win in place uh, bet, you probably uh, weren't really happy. Uh, or maybe if you uh, keyed the uh, two horse that was at the one position and you, maybe you backdoored that an exacta, I mean, you'd be happy. But I'm not going to say... I think more often than not, you would think that the bias report got you off of this horse. Uh, in the bias report's defense, most people are off of a 51 to one horse. <laughs> but, but we wanna find a, a situation. So right now, if I was playing on a day like today, I might adjust my attack or I might need one more race to convince me. Uh, you know, is it going back to normal? Do I want to keep looking inside speed stalkers uh, and looking at uh, four, five, six uh, as secondary? Or do I want to make the adjustment outside? But really with a race like this, uh, I never think, oh, it was wrong, therefore it's crap. Uh, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, average. So. To me, it's supposed to keep you in tune, and when a race does not kind of race, look, if this eight horse won on the outside and he was three to five, you use the excuse, oh, he was probably just much the best. If he was a first time starter and won at a big price, you could still say, I can't judge, you, you know, you first time starter, he could have been, a f he, maybe he could have uh, debuted at a few levels higher. Uh, this is a horse that ran before, didn't get any gathering in the public, your spidey senses should be going up. Okay, so I, I just hope there's another rut race today. I, I did not go pick parks, pick the bias report, pick a bunch of days, and tried to find videos to make my point. Uh, I just wanted to go and do a video. I the reason I chose parks is because I had I keep track of a lot of a lot of circuits. I'm only offering my three circuits. I decided to start off simple before going uh, wide. It, you know, I got to work out the kinks, reordering, uh, getting them to people, people ordering on different weeks, uh, weeks, and how I'm going to keep track of everyone's subscriptions because right now I'm just doing it through email. Uh, you're going to have to trust me on that, but I'm telling you, I did not go uh, digging around for something that would make me look good or bad. I, I didn't go either way. That's why I also did three days. Uh, and I don't know, this might uh, turn out to be uh, 
inside bias to rest of the day and that was just an anomaly or it might not be. I have no idea. Okay, so the sixth race. We got claiming 5,000 on the dirt, mile 70 yards. So this is definitely a race we want to look at. And I'm already scrolled. Yeah, you guys see it. The horse post 7 won again. He didn't just win. It said he was five wide. He was also almost six to one, so he, he was back, but he wasn't super respected, right? Uh, we don't mind hitting five to ones, almost six to ones. Uh, the two did get second, but I do see a comment, angled out and closed. Remember I'm fading closers? Remember, mostly I'm talking about for the win spot. But, you know, I noticed all of this shit. Uh, the five horse was bet. He was a speed horse. He was bet to, uh, not a heavy favorite. He was five to two. So, so not a heavy favorite. The, he was a speed horse. He went to the inside and he got tired. Right now, I'm thinking the track changed. I can't tell right now if this uh, seven horse, uh, well, the seven definitely didn't wire because right now I can easily see that the, uh, he was at least a half a length behind and I just go to this bottom. Okay, so he stopped. The seven horse stopped, he didn't close. Oh, technically, I would argue uh, on the, on the uh, two horse that said he closed, but he, came, he actually stalked too. Uh, so stalkers are running good. I think this track changed from the first two days we looked at it. If I did not make the adjustment here, you know, before playing this, I did not play this day. I can't play all of these tracks. I keep more data than I can ever even play. Uh, I think a person after that 51 to 1 uh, horse did what he did, I could totally see... I could totally understand someone making that adjustment to the outside of the track. Uh, we've had three races uh, with outside winners. Uh, or I could see someone waiting one more time. But this was definitely, I'm calling this a sweet adjustment. And I'm saying that you probably could have caught this bias switch pretty quick just by you know starting off your morning uh, knowing what you were looking for, knowing that it was absolutely the opposite way. We got three price horses in three races. Uh, let's see if there's another race because the next race, to me, if I was playing this track, I would definitely be making that adjustment to the outside. Uh, I think I've seen enough proof. And we do, we got another mile 70. Now I just need to hope that I'm right. Uh, this is not a good example of being right or wrong. We get another five horse field situation. We get another five horse field situation. Uh, like I said, five horses is kind of the the kind of the horses are so close to being inside or getting outside it's almost tough uh the five horse won he was in the three hole usually in a six horse field or farther i would call the three hole inside of the track in a five horse field the three hole is dead nuts middle of the freaking track uh he did get a real rally. He was also bet to $1.20 on the dollar. Uh, speed did not hold up. Speed was on the rail. That's another horse that we've seen getting the rail. I want to scroll back to that first uh, horse that won today. Sorry about this because I know it's choppier than what it usually is. Wait, did I go? Oh, it's not. 
Oh, that's the first race. Let me. It's not very responsive. Okay, so that was this horse. So, so far we've seen four races. We would have seen four races after that last race. This is the only horse that went wire to wire. And I'm noticing the comment that he was outside. Notice that every other horse to uh, this day that tried to go wire to wire had the inside. Let's see, Next, where, where's the 51 to one winner? See that one horse rail. He did run a good race, but he did get beat pretty soundly by 51 to one. Uh, and then the seven got a uh, third, uh, but he did get beat. And what was the next race? Uh, this race, the five horse had the inside, was bet to favoritism. Uh, he, was, he wasn't a heavy favorite, but he was five to two. Uh, he had the inside, fell apart. Oh, remember, wait a minute. There was one more race. Wait a minute. There wasn't one more race. I want to go back to the first race that got, that kind of got my uh, senses going. Remember how much time I wasted on... What was it? It was this race. Remember how much time I wasted on this two horse in that uh, first race where the five went wire to wire? He was in the two hole. Oh! He was in the, he was a horse that was in the two hole that was bet down to $1.70 on the dollar that uh, lost by 21 lengths. I don't think the track is kind of inside speed at the very least today. So it changed from the two day, uh, first two days of using it, and it, the track to me looks so opposite of, from what I expect. I'm pretty sure that it's an outside track. I'm pretty sure that uh, the bias reports are helping you make this adjustment. Uh, this three, he did win, okay, he did win on the rail. I noticed that it says rally, which makes me think he came from off the lead. He was in the, he came from five lengths off, or not five lengths off, he was in fifth place, so he came from two and a half lengths off, one and a half lengths off. He was technically in last place, uh, so it looks like inside speed is not what you wanted today. He was technically in the middle of the track. I'm not going to claim this as being the big adjustment in a five-horse race with uh, it coming 120 on the dollar, two to one, two to one. Hopefully, you would have made the mistake or the adjustment the race before where you could have been on a, a solid five to one. I don't think you would have... Uh, Got your spidey sense up before the 51 to one completely. Let's hope there's another route race today. Nope, that's a dirt sprint. Is that it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's a five for a long race. I just seen that 60 to 1 getting second, and I was like, oh, shit. Oh, uh, but 10 cents on the dollar, 10 cents on the dollar, one, 60, 60 uh, to 1 in second. Did that pay? Yeah, it still pay. Oh, $60 for two bucks. Okay, there's one more. Well, I'm going to guess that there's one more, that because this is a 10th race. It sounds like it could be the last, but... uh. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be an outside. I would probably, if I was playing, uh, be making that adjustment. Uh, okay, the outside horse did win, but he was 60 cents on the dollar. He won from the eight hole. 
Was it the bias? Did it just be happen since? Could he have won anyways? I think with the adjustment for the first time, we would have been uh, considering a, a horse on the outside like the eight hole. Uh, I know myself, I wouldn't be doing much with the 60 cents on the, or a dollar 60 uh, odds at a dollar 60 for a dollar. I know myself. Uh, the two horse did manage to get second. Uh, he was ninth place at the uh, hole. Remember I said I'd be uh, fading uh, deep closers. Uh, we thought deep closers are doing, or closers coming off the pace was a little bit better today. Uh, notice, the, notice the comment, angled very wide, missed. Oh, he just missed by a nose. Maybe if he wasn't in the two hole and was a, a little bit farther out, uh, he came from three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten lengths off the lead. Uh, but I think on a day-to-day -day where we made the adjustment or could have made the adjustment, uh, I still think the bias reports uh, helped you make that adjustment. Oh, the prices weren't great later. Could that exact, if you hit that exact, uh, you know what, a $2 exact at 33 bucks. I mean, some people can make something with that. Uh, some days I can do something with that. That would be a, a little over 16 on the dollar. It just depends on if you were, you know, if you really liked the nine and you thought today he looked like a single. Uh, you know, I could see someone hitting that for real good. Uh, but, you know, I, I think that was a good adjustment. Oh, ooh, wait, is there 11th race? There, we got a bonus race. We got a bonus race. Uh, okay, I, I honestly <laughs> didn't know this, but this is good. Uh, and I'm looking at the result. Post 5-1, po post 8 got second at 19-1. to one. Uh, the winner did close, but we already made that adjustment that, hey, it's, you want to be off the track, you could be, I didn't, I said you could close now today, we've seen closers win, I didn't say we were favoring a running style, the strongest change was bringing closers in the fold to actually considering them for win, but mostly it was going outside. And if you use the bias reports, made this adjustment. Uh, so the first two days, I would consider using it simple. We're looking at the profile and the profile working. This third day that we did is a one step up. It's not a big step to me, but it is a step up. It's, we expected the track to run one way. We made an adjustment uh, because things look so different from what we expected. This is, this is a stuff that gets you uh, better at being a bias handicapper, a, a handicapper, and understanding freaking racing. Uh, and this, let's just say, you did not take advantage of the outside bias and it took you a little bit longer to, uh, to let's just say catch on. This, I'm looking at a race that's probably a super good bailout race. Yeah, the winner was only just under three to one, not sexy, but what's sexy is the eight horse. Uh, getting second at 19 to one, I th I definitely could make a bailout ticket with uh, something like that. Yeah, a hundred and thirty-two dollar exacta for two bucks. Uh, I I whoa 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 oh I was gonna say is there a twelfth race? There wasn't a tw well there was a twelfth race, but it was not it was not a sprint race. Oh I'm sorry, it was a sprint race. It was not a route race. But anyways, I'm going to keep doing these videos because it's half advertisement, half helping. I am going to get more uh, advanced about it. I think this was, actually, I didn't know really what was going to turn out because I guess, I guess if I completely had egg on my face, uh, 
It'd be terrible. I guess I wouldn't have done it. I don't know what the fuck I would have did. Uh, anyways, uh, these are the sheets. Uh, if you guys are interested, uh, you know, the circuits that I'm selling right now is uh, New York, uh, Churchill. I, I'm sorry, New York, Kentucky, and Florida. Uh, right now, we're at a weird time of the year because uh, Florida just goes all the way through. So the Florida circuit is, we just go with Gulfstream. We use that all the way through the year when they get to Gulfstream Park West. We start the post position analyst, but uh, Gulfstream Park is still in, uh, in use because those horses are coming and you make adjustments early in the season. Uh, depending on how Gulfstream Park West is. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that when we come to the time. Right now for uh, Kentucky, Kentucky is a little bit weird because we just ended Churchill. They just did a silly little meet. Uh, uh, I, sh I shouldn't have called it silly because it was part of a Rolex meet for me. Uh, but then they went to Kentucky Downs. Kentucky Downs, I'm going to send you guys the information. The problem with Kentucky Downs, you won't get the information because Kentucky Downs run for, I think, six days, and by the time uh, I get enough to update, it's over. Uh, but then they go to either Keeland or Churchill Downs. We just or continue from there. Uh, the New York is a little silly, too, right now, because uh, Saratoga just opened, or Saratoga just shut down. Uh, but all those horses are going to different spots. Uh, I think Belmont's going next. We'll be picking up with Belmont. We'll start the post position analyst from uh, ground zero, but you still want to keep that Saratoga information for uh, putting the remarks about running up against biases and when you look up the days itself. Uh, so anyways, uh, we got a lot of things coming. I'm looking to improve things. I definitely want your guys' feedbacks that bought this stuff. Uh, again, I'm hopefully, uh, putting up my contact information. If you guys are interested, uh, you can contact me. If you guys have questions, if you're interested, if you have other questions about handicapping me or handicapping, uh, you can contact me, handicappingpaul at outlook.com. Uh, I love talking to people about horse racing. Fuck, it's my passion. Uh, if you guys want to just, uh, if your email is the exact same on your PayPal account, if you know you want to do this product, uh, you can just go to my PayPal, uh, PayPal me, paypal.me forward slash the shakeup. The cost is $30 a month. With that, you get the three circuits. Uh, and then I update once a week. Or, yeah, I update once a week on Tuesdays. And I'll, I'll send you the updates every Tuesdays. Uh, so that what it is. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you made it through the whole video, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, I'm going to do more videos on how to take advantages of the, these bias reports and uh, how I think they're good for uh, players and should improve your handicapping uh hopefully a lot hopefully i get a you know i i always get a lot of emails in the chat rooms uh for the streaming shows about guys uh having very nice hits for some reason guys love to show me photos of their account after they have a nice hit i think it's personal but guys love to show me that shit. so i hope to be getting some at least some brags in the emails and stuff about uh, super hits uh, guys are getting off of this. But anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, and I wish you guys a bunch of luck and stay safe out there.